Hey, this beaver tail tanning episodes are going to be... Oh, this is the third one already. What do you know? Uh, I thought we'd get it done in two or three, but it's going to be still quite a few more steps. So it's going to be a whole, uh, whole series of them, I guess. So we're keeping it short, but here's what we're doing. We're using the round knife here. Uh, so I put them in the tanning solution, the auto tanner overnight. And I ran them for two hours yesterday. You can still see there's a few little pink spots around here in the thicker areas. So I'm going to run it back through today. I'm going to put them in there another couple of hours. Um, I just don't think it was long enough when I ran them yesterday. So we're going to run them a little longer. And then I showed in my last video, I pulled them out and told you I was going to fit them down. So that's what I'm doing now. So all this little bit of stuff here and everything, um, we're just going to run it on the round knife here. So what I'm going to do go up the side, up the side, across the back, and down the middle. So here we go. We just run this tail along the edge here, flip it around, get over here, run it down that edge there, run it across its back. And uh, using a round knife, it takes a while to get used to these kinds of things. So, but anybody who's done it for a while could probably just go ahead and do this, I don't know. Uh, when you get your beaver tails back from tanneries and stuff, usually there's a hole in it. It's 99% gonna be this reason right here. So using a round knife to um, scrape off a flat surface, and it, sometimes it just grabs and dig in a little bit. Nothing you can really do, I mean, just, just try and be as careful as you can. We're all human though. So. Is what it is there. The trick is to get it, get this stuff off, but don't get it so thin that when it goes to uh, start drying out, that the leather actually will crack and start breaking and stuff because uh, you got it too thin. So there's there's where we want it to be at, about there, back side, front side. So let me just go ahead and do these next few here. We got a little bit of time on the video. See another one here. That on the side, across the back, down the middle. I found it that the bigger one, the wider they are, the harder they are to uh, take down. And it's not really, I don't think, because of the toughness of the uh, leather and stuff. I think it's because. The way you hold it and the way you maneuver these things around on this blade, when you get it really wide like that, and it's just hard to get your hands wrapped around and in the right position to be able to uh, take stuff down to where it needs to be. I watched some tail tanning videos uh, on YouTube, and there doesn't seem to be many. I mean, there's there's a dozen or so. Uh, not as many as I would have thought there would have been, you know, but um, that's why I'm doing my own tail tanning videos here in the shop is for anybody else who wants to learn and do stuff. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to probably give out the recipe and everything that I use to tan with. You, you know, there's plenty of recipes out there to tan with, but, uh, we, you know, I am going to show you the process of it, the steps, what I'm, what I'm doing, now, uh, it's probably different from what other people will do, you know, there's other places too, and I, I don't use chromium or anything like that in my shop, I don't, um, I just don't, so, um, I try to use, use stuff that's not as harsh, uh, cause I, I, I'm on city water and I don't want to be putting anything down the drain, I'm not supposed to be, um, so uh, most of my chemicals are just, they're real, uh, they're, there's not heavy metals or things like that going on. So I don't, I don't need any trouble from the uh, water treatment plant, that's for sure. All right, there we go. Let me scrap off here. There's another one, we're all cleaned off. A little, little thick here in this corner, I'm just going to... There we go. Took, took a little chip out of there. There it is. All right. Well, there's my uh, 
thinning down tail video and stuff. Um, I know I said I watch videos and most guys use knives. Some people use their flesh and knife and everything, but when you got the equipment, use it, you know? I mean, just, it's here. Uh, use it, what you got, be safe with it. And we'll, uh, on to the next episode.